Yo, what up, YouTube? It's Bryce. Won this mat at the Lenexa Regional, like, last weekend. Uh, eight days ago, whatever. And, uh, yeah, uh, my my buddy here um, is going to do a deck profile. He got 10th place, so here it goes. All right, so I played Insectors. And get into the Monsters, I guess, with the Insectors first. Pretty standard. Just, you know, three centipede, ladybug. These guys. You think, you think three ladybugs obviously essential? Yeah. Alright, some people. Yeah, the second it I've came out, two. really. Like, it's just see how. a better hopper. Alright. Uh, for the non-insectors, I just ran Armageddon, Here. Dark Armed, Card Card D, and Armageddon gets the Hornet out of the way. Dark Arm actually won me a lot of game ones, just extra boost on the board, but I sided him out a lot too. And then Card Card, just to go through. Your deck, and only see cards that matter, really. I ran two, is that caliber? It's really good. Put it down here. Helps you, helps with the OTK a lot. And then Foolish Burial, Mill the Hornet, obviously. Or Dragonfly if you have the Hornet in like a set call or something. Uh, duality, goes through the decks. Consistency. Um, you really have too many plays with MST, so you should really be running three of those. And I liked Upstart. The boost doesn't really matter because you can OTK through it and it's like running 37 cards. 37 cards. See the shit that matters. For the one of traps, just like, you know, it's limited compuls. It's already limited Is shit. It's true when you play Pot of Duality, you always take the most limited card. Yeah, you just, you just, <laughs> if you see one of these, you just grab it, you know, like, it's a compuls. You're going to play out of it, it's too good. And then for the rest of the traps, three Threatening Roar, three Reckless OP. Greed, and three Call the Haunted. All OP. OP. Threatening Roar basically protects your centipede, or even a ladybug. If you have a ladybug and you just you just roar it, and it's an extra pop next turn, and that's pretty good. Call the Haunted, if you end phase like a centipede with a hornet in your hand or in the grave, that usually resulted in game. And then Reckless Greed, you know, just trying to see shit that matters, basically, again. If you have, like, two of them set ever, that's usually game two. It's just too many pluses. And then going into the side deck now. Sided. Two Light Imprisoning. Um, two Imperial Iron Wall. Two Goes In. Two Rivalry. Two Fiendish Chain. Two Trap Stun, and then... These cards, I guess, can you see them? Mm-hmm. You can, yeah. If you um, move them down a little. The light imprisonings were mostly for... I mean, I had mine Bujins and Constellars, and... I mean, I guess it would hurt Noble Knights, kind of, I think. I don't know. I mean, I'd play them anyway. Imperial Iron Walls for Dragons, obviously, and Prophecies, because if they fade a Hornet, that's actually really bad. So, down you know, Sorry. just had to side Start it. Um, goes and match in rivalry. I like siding them in against dragons a lot. And evil swarms rivalry and constellar, or or fucking uh, evil swarms and constellars for rivalry, and that was really good. I mean, D fissure and soul drain hornet and ladybug. Even I guess they. I mean, they all go off in gigamantis under D fissure and soul drain. So I figure you have to side them for mermaids and stuff. Fiendish chain. I mean, it's pretty good. Just I sighted in a lot, I don't know. No specifics really, and then trap stun for like... I had mine Constellars and Evil Swarms, because if I trap stun and then like Volcasaurus, their Pilates, or Ophion, or Omega, that usually result in game with the Gaia. What about that Thunder King? Thunder King, I don't, know, I don't, really, I don't really like him at one, siding it in, really, because if with one, I feel like what you're trying to do is just first turn it, and then hope that that hurts them, and like opening the Thunder King... I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Plus, I'm trying to win game one, so assuming I'm going to go second, just the dead Thunder King in hand really sucks when you watch him do other plays. And for the extra deck, it was Zen Mains. Levier, Giga Brilliant, Leviathan, Acid Golem, Gaga Cowboy, a My Stroke, Black Ship of Corn, Key Beetle, Exa Stag, that Crimson Ninja, F Shark Fortress, that guy, and these two. Um, 
The ones that really matter are like these three and like these two and kind of a key beetle just because key beetle is one of the only ones here that were rank four that could just detach at will besides like a defense position cowboy which is kind of dumb i'd rather like protect a call to haunted or something but yeah these are really the only ones i went into basically for otks and yep extra stag i really liked because i could go into him under rival rear goes in i never had to but like having that option is really good I guess same with Key Beetle. Yep, that, that was my deck. Anything you'd change? Anything major? Um, probably just the side deck. Drop the Thunder King. I don't know. What about the whole Maybe thing? the Light Imprisoning what Mirrors. That? Yeah, what about that DNA surgery? DNA surgery, yeah. I might add that. That's It would have helped a lot for Prophecies too, but I didn't play Prophecies, thankfully. All right. Um, I guess that's the deck, guys. If you like it, go ahead and throw that thumbs up. Uh, thanks for watching. Peace.